I'm recording this video in the middle of a 3DO teardown doing some repair work on the disk drive and the laser lens and I've not got everything put together as you can see I've, I've got parts strewn all over my workbench here but I ran into some information that I haven't seen anybody mention on the internet and I was going to document this and show a video of it and that way it might help somebody out in the future <clears throat> my laser lens had gotten to the point where it went bad on my disk drive and the actual lens itself is a specific part um, here's my original lens here I don't know if you can see it on there but the it is a SF 92.5 or a 925 it's a specific type of lens that you have to get for these disk drives and I've got a replacement lens in it right now that I just got in today from China uh, I got it on Aliexpress it was like $50 plus shipping I took everything apart I got my 3DO taken apart I took all the drive apart here and which was a complete pain in the ass got the lens put in put it back in the machine and i don't know if the lens is defective or i need to adjust the pot on it or what but it actually i couldn't get it to hardly read anything the only thing i could get it to read was an audio disc and even then it would just show up on the audio player but the laser would freak out and it wouldn't actually play anything so either the lens is dead and i've wasted fifty dollars or i need to adjust the pot on it to get it to work right and adjusting the pot was something that i was wanting to avoid because if i wanted to fool with adjusting the pot i would have done that on my original one and not this replacement one so as a last ditch effort when i took everything back apart and was going to get maybe even put my old lens back in here or whatever i figured that i would check on a disk drive that i had that According to everything that I've read, it was not compatible. Um, you have to get a specific drive if you want just a drop-in and drop-out solution for these 3DO drives. Uh, and they're very rare and they're old. And the people that do have them, if you can find them, they want like $100 or $200 a piece for it. And this drive that I had was not that drive. As a last-ditch effort, I thought, well, hell, I'll check it out and take it apart and just look at it and see if it works and actually so far now i haven't put everything back together but this is a complete drop in and drop out solution for this and this is not the drive that everyone mentions on the forums and youtube pages and everything else um as you can see here of course i've got the bottom covered up here but it's the same exact lens the s 92.5 or 925 it's the same exact lens all the ribbon connectors and everything on the motherboard are the same here is the old motherboard that was in the drive this little front thing here was for a headphone jack and a volume jack on the front of the drive as you can see here's the old faceplate. but what i did was i took this old drive apart there's the remnants of it I unhooked all of the connections from the old motherboard. <clears throat> I took the motherboard that was on the 3DO drive and I just transplanted it in here. All the wiring and the connections and everything are one to one to the original board. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever. All the ribbon connectors and the plug-ins and everything else is the exact same thing. And again, this is the board from my 3DO drive that I've went ahead and mounted in here. The model number on this drive, let me see if I can get it to show up here. The model number on this is a CR52B. It was manufactured in January of 1995. And it's the same brand of uh, drive that is often mentioned for the other one that's a drop-in solution but i think the one that they mention is like a cr six uh, five six two or something like that it's not a five seven two it's a five six three it's a 
560 something and no one has ever mentioned anywhere that a CR-52B is the same exact thing. And I'm thinking what the difference is between this and the one that everybody recommends. I guess this is the one, this one had the little daughter board on it with the volume and headphone jack. And I think that's the only difference between the one that everyone mentions, the 562, and this one, the 572. I took the old faceplate off. I was going to put this new faceplate on it from the, the 3DO. I'm just going to leave the drive tray and everything the same because I'm all about making it as easy as possible. I've got everything hooked back into the motherboard and I was going to put a couple of the things on it, get those screwed in and try it out in the system and see if it works. And if it does, then hopefully we got a viable solution to having to get an all new lens or something like that and look for that super rare uh, 562 drive. So here we are, the moment of truth. We've got our CR572B drive hooked in. I've got a CDR of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo along with a pile of other CDRs to test out. My trusty multi-console arcade stick hooked up. Let's see what we've got. Oh my goodness. We've got no skipping in the audio. You have to excuse the glare off the CRT. Well, it's perfect. No skipping in the music. No skipping in the FMV. Seems like this drive transplant is a success. So, if you're hard up for a 3DO drive, you can go with that model there instead of the uh, overpriced, probably m less available model that a lot of people have mentioned. <laughs>